Hey what is up guys it is me Flavio here back with another Mafia City video. In this video I'm going to be explaining how the burger trap event works and I'll also be talking about the other events that are going on right now. So let's get started. The burger trap event is somewhat similar to the anniversary cake event that we had during the last two anniversary events. It has two different stages. There's the donation stage where you're required to donate items to get a small amount of rewards. And you have the battle stage where you're required to scout Rick to deal damage and also to get items. During the donation stage you're required to donate sausages, bread and bacon that you can get by scouting hamburger shops on the map. Every time you donate you get some rewards and your points get added to the donation pool. The donation pool is a global donation pool just like it was in the last two anniversary cake events because the progress is almost the same for all cities. I also have a feeling that the progress is not really based on your donations but the bar probably moves up automatically just like it did in the anniversary cake event because on day 1 we finished with about 2 million points. On an average you should be getting about 5 to 6 points per item you donate since there are 3 items that you can donate which give you 2, 5 and 10 points each and you seem to have a fairly equal chance of getting any of the 3. There are more than a thousand cities doing this event right now, so even if we assume that 50 players from each city make 20 donations daily, we should get at least 5 million points by the end of day 1. So if we're only getting 2 million points on day 1, that would mean that only 20 players on an average per city are doing this event. But what's convinced me the most is the fact that the requirements have not changed from last year's event even though they changed the name of the event. In last year's anniversary cake event, you had to score 10 million points to max out the event, which has remained the same in this year's event as well. If you want to watch the video that I made last year on the anniversary cake event, I'll leave a link to it in the description and also at the end of this video. Even though the requirements have stayed the same, the speed of our progress also has remained the same which doesn't really make sense because there are a lot more cities participating this time. So in my opinion we should be able to max out this event just like we did the last anniversary cake event and I don't think you need to worry about it too much. I also wouldn't recommend donating items since the rewards for donating them seem to be useless. For stage 2 of this event you'll have to spy a rig to get special items which you can exchange for other stuff including week 3 card fragments. Apart from this event there's also the Beaujolais Nouveau event that's going on where you're required to collect wine to get rewards. You can collect up to 11 wines daily, 6 from the daily missions, 3 from attacking street forces and 2 from gathering resources. You need to collect a total of 69 wines to unlock all rewards. If you manage to unlock a row or a column by illuminating all cells in it, you'll be able to claim the free rewards for that row or that column. And if you spend $5 to get the gift packs, you'll also be able to claim the premium rewards. If you manage to illuminate all the cells for this event, you'll be able to unlock the wine terrace ornament decoration for your plantation if you buy the $5 gift pack for this event. There's also the 5 day wine fiesta purchase event that's going on where you're required to purchase 5000 gold for 5 days to get a turf effect. I'd highly recommend doing this event if you spend since turf effects normally cost around $300 but with this event you can do it for as little as $50. So those were all the events that are currently going on in the game. I hope you guys found the video helpful. Before I end this video I'd like to thank all of my patrons for the support. If you want to support me there's a link to my patreon in the description below. So that's all I have for you guys in this video. I hope you guys found the video helpful. Thanks for watching the video guys and I will see y'all in the next one.